this is how and when to interpolate electrodes. So, uh, this is how and when to interpolate electrodes. So here we have a data set and I'm gonna plot the channel ERPs with the scalp maps. I've already uploaded this data set into EEG Lab, and now we're looking at some of the head plots here. So as you can kind of see right here and right here, these are two electrodes that are showing up um, like pretty consistently throughout this whole data set or throughout the whole time period here. Um, so you can see those two kind of spots here and here are always showing up, which means that they um, just don't have a good connection with the scalp, so they're not picking up the, the data well enough. So what we want to do is interpolate these electrodes, which um, means that it takes the data from the electrodes around it and kind of guesses like what that what should be at that electrode. So what we're going to do is go to, um, well, I guess first we need to know what these electrodes, what these electrode numbers are. And so you can do that um, by looking, comparing it to a channel map and seeing um, which electrodes they are. And so I know that they're 11 and 60 are the numbers that we want to get rid of. So we're going to go tools. Um, Interpolate electrodes, there it is. Um, select from data channels. And then I'm going to select 11 and hold command down and also select 60 here. Click OK. And then click OK again. And it's going to run. Now it's going to ask us um, what we want to call our new data set. So I'm going to call it 001. Um, channels removed. And now when we plot our channel ERPs, or the scalp maps again, so let's plot channel ERPs with scalp maps, we can see that um, those two channels aren't showing up quite as much um, as they were before, which is good. So that is it.